Hello, everybody. And a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Prince Harry broke down in tears recalling Meghan Markle's pregnancy with Archie. Prince Harry struggled to fight back tears as he opened up about fatherhood. Prince Harry once broke down in tears at the Well Child Awards as he recalled wife Meghan Markle's first pregnancy with their fist-born son Archie. The Duke of Sussex, who is now a father of two to Archie and Lilibet, is set to attend the Well Child Awards 2022 next month as he prepares to visit the UK with his wife Meghan. But rewind three years and Prince Harry was seen breaking down in tears as he took to the stage to give a speech, as patron of the charity, which helps sick children. And Prince Harry is expected to deliver another speech at the awards ceremony due to be held on September 8. Ahead of his visit, attention has turned to his 2019 speech that saw him battle with his emotions. His speech started, It has been over a decade uh, since I first came to these awards, and every year they never fail to surprise and inspire me. Yet this year, it resonates in a different way because now I'm a father. Last year, um, <clears throat> Last year, when my wife and I attended, we knew we were expecting our first child. Um, no one else did at the time, but we did. And I remember... <laughs> but as he recalled, his mind trailed off and TV presenter Gabby Roslin stepped forward to comfort him with a supportive arm and proceeded to rub it reassuringly. Prince Harry continued, And I remember squeezing Meghan's hand so tight <clears throat> during the awards, and both of us were thinking what it would be like um, to be parents one day and more so what it would be like to do everything we could to protect and help our child should they be born with immediate challenges or become unwell over time. And now, as parents, being here and speaking to all of you pulls at my heartstrings in a way I could never have understood until I had a child of my own. <clears throat> all eyes will be on Prince Harry to see what heartfelt message he delivers this time, now as a father of two. Both Meghan and Harry last visited the UK for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations in June and during their next UK visit. The couple will also be attending the One Young World Summit in Manchester on September 5th, plus stopping by Germany for the Invictus Games Dusseldorf 2023, one year to go event. Quick disclaimer, everything in this video and all of my videos are my opinion based on detailed research that I perform. That said, I would recommend doing your own research before you make up your mind. Thank you. Royal Insider claims Queen Elizabeth was misled about Lilibet's name. Didn't Prince Harry and Meghan Markle lie to Queen Elizabeth about their plans to pay tribute to her with their daughter's name? Rumors are swirling that they might not have told the Queen the whole truth. Meghan and Harry's daughter Lilibet, Diana Mountbatten Windsor, was born in June 2021. She was named Lilibet in tribute to Queen Elizabeth, supposedly with the monarchy's blessing, but according to a BBC report, the Sussexes might not have sought the Queen's permission after all. Ever since Meghan Markle and Prince Harry welcomed their second child into the world, there have been conflicting reports about how Queen Elizabeth feels about the little girl being named after her. The official word was that she was delighted by the news that her 11th great-grandchild's moniker paid homage to her childhood nickname of Lilibet. Lilibet is what the Queen's grandfather, King George V, called her when she was just a toddler, an affectionate pet name that reflected the future sovereign's early attempts to say Elizabeth. The misnomer stuck and spread around the family. Reportedly, the late Prince Philip also referred to his wife, the Queen with the name Lilibet. Prior to Meghan and Harry's return visit to Great Britain in 2022, Buckingham Palace declared that Her Majesty was pleased with Meghan and Harry's decision to name Archie's little sister after her and that the couple had Queen Elizabeth's blessing to call her Lilibet. But according to a BBC story written by royal correspondent Johnny Diamond, the reality was that she knew nothing about their plans ahead of time. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle maintained they got the Queen's permission. Soon after Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's daughter was born, a spokesperson for the new parents announced. The Duke spoke with his family in advance of the announcement, in fact his grandmother was the first family member he called. During that conversation he shared their hope of naming their daughter Lilibet in her honor. Had she not been supportive they would not have used the name. 
The Queen reportedly thought the Sussexes had a different name in mind. At the time, royal commentator Louise Roberts went on record to dispute the validity of the claim. Other suggestions out of the UK is that she's not entirely happy with them sort of hijacking her, her pet name. Roberts suggested that Harry and Meghan could have simply named their second-born Elizabeth, as opposed to legally naming her after the Queen's nickname. In response to the BBC story about the Queen being blindsided by the name choice, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex rejected the reporting. The couple even went so far as to file a lawsuit against the BBC, calling the story false and defamatory. The truth, according to some sources, may be somewhere in the middle. Speaking to the Daily Mail in June 2022, Royal Insider Nikki Haslam, an interior designer, says the phone call between Prince Harry and his grandmother indeed took place, but not in the way that was previously reported, the insider told the publication. I heard Harry ring her and said, we want to call our daughter after you, Granny. She said, how charming of you, thank you. The misunderstanding, according to Haslam, was that Her Majesty thought the name the Sussexes were choosing would be her full name of Elizabeth, not her nickname, Lilibet. As the source put it to the Daily Mail, they got the permission, but they didn't say the name. The name Lilibet connects the Queen to her past, but she doesn't have to approve of its use. Given all the versions of what transpired between Prince Harry and Queen Elizabeth surrounding the naming of his second child with Meghan Markle, one has to wonder why it matters so much. NBC News royal commentator Daisy McAndrew explained the matter to Today back in June of 2021, describing the name Lilibet as an exceptionally personal nickname, almost one of a kind, until Meghan and Harry's daughter came along. In a way, it's not really a real name at all, and it is totally synonymous with the Queen. After her great-granddaughter took on the name Lilibet, the nickname no longer belongs solely to Her Majesty, and not everyone is happy about it. Another controversy surrounding the two Lilibets involves the Queen's reported denial of a photo opportunity for the Sussexes and their daughter during Elizabeth's Platinum Jubilee celebrations. In June, it was reported that there was no chance Her Majesty would be photographed with her great-granddaughter, out of fears that the photo would find its way from Meghan and Harry's personal photographer into the hands of the media. We might never know for sure just how Queen Elizabeth herself feels about her great-granddaughter's name or if she was misled about it. But the fact that there are rumors swirling about the matter at all seems to make it clear that the rift between the Sussexes and the rest of the royal family is still an ocean wide. Stop. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more LMT videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.